Hello everyone, it's Wendy. I've been making these little envelopes and I've made them into usable envelopes. This came from an idea by Margaret at Seven Plaza and she made little tiny ones about an inch and a half but she stuck them down just to make little clusters and I thought they'd be nice to be able to use as envelopes to you know obviously store things in now she made them with strips of paper and i will link her video below so that you can pop over and take a peep and i thought right i'm going to use my envelope maker uh, so i was busy playing last night while i was watching tv and i made all these some i have decorated up with pieces of washi tape put some pieces inside and just stuck along tiny weeny strips of washi tape on that one and bits inside again but I think they're really nice and they could be used as a belly band just glue the ends down and slot an envelope underneath and still have space to use inside so I'm going to make one with you um, I have put on one of them, where is it, yeah, a fastener of a, um, what do you call them, hooks and velcro pieces, so that just holds that flap down like that, uh, but the other flaps stay down because of the weight of the top envelope, so I'll just put these to the side and get on with making these with you. I've already done two envelopes. I've done one using a six by six piece of paper and this one is a five by five piece of paper. So this is a five by five. So I'll just make one with my, this is a We Are Memory Keepers board and I use it quite a lot um, and it gives you the sizes of paper to use and the size of envelope you will get. So I'm using a five by five. So I will get an envelope this size, which is about two and a half by three inches. So my first score is two and three eighths. So you just put the first score mark in and then turn it to line up the score line with this little um, sticky out bit here. And you do that all four turns. And then you've got a corner rounder on the top here. So I will round that corner, then put this away. And get rid of those bits of waste. Then fold it in and you've got your two sides, your bottom piece and your top flap. Now I just trim a little tiny piece off there. You can fold it under and glue it or just cut it off. This is reasonable weighted paper so it's not too bad. And I like to ink all mine as well. That's just my preference. I know it takes time but that's what I like. I've got quite a few of these made now so I can in my next journal that I make I shall be utilizing them so I'm just going to glue this up the edges and on the edges of that one and that's that one made now to glue the three together I'm going to use the stripy one in the middle and these two have both got writing on so I'm going to put them at an angle and the only thing you have to do because you want the envelopes to open you don't want to glue above this flap otherwise you impede the opening of that flap so keep below there so I'm just going to put glue on the corner of there roughly see where it's going on here and then I smudge the glue along 
but make sure I don't go over that fold and you can always just put a bit more glue when you know where the envelope is going to lie so that's one on and then again glue that one so and smudge it along like so just lift it up a little bit just to put the last bit of glue underneath and get my sticky tabs velcro stickers and I'll stick even though they are adhesive already on I do like to just put a dab of glue to get the corresponding piece stick that down onto there put another bit of glue on and then stick that down Margaret just made these into clusters um, putting quite a few together three or five and then just make they make like a nice little corner cluster very pretty right I've got my tub with all my washi tapes in so there's some odd butterflies there I don't think the orangey ones go with that last night I was using this tiny wee washi tape in fact I was trying to use it all up because it is so narrow just trying to find the end of it there it is I just pulled pieces off and stuck them down anywhere really just to use it up and decorate and I used some of these the like perforated into stamps but those colours don't really go. That red one doesn't, definitely. Let's see what else we've got that we could use. There's some script here. Um, stick some of that on. Stick one under there. Um, let's choose another. Oh, here's another one with stamps on. These will probably go a bit better. Let's find the end. As this video goes out, I'll be in the UK. Um, I'm going to see my mum. She had a fall um, about two months ago and she was in hospital for four weeks. And they've had to put her into a nursing home now instead of a care home um, because she needs, obviously, more care now. And my sister's found a nice one for her right on the promenade in Southport that's not peeling off very well sorry I'm just talking thinking that's ripped but that's fine um, so yeah she's settled in now so I'm going over to see her just for a few days um, and this November mum will be 99 years old I honestly can't believe it. Time's just flying by. And I was watching The Crown, the series on TV, uh, because there's meant to be a new one coming out this um, this year. So I was re-watching all the previous uh, ones. And The Queen was born in 1924 and my sorry the queen was born in 1926 and my mum was born in 1924 so it just made me realize that mum obviously is 99 this year amazing right let's just stick a few more pieces of this on i have made a load of these and when i do make a journal and sell it I tend to put all the ephemera that comes with the kit in little envelopes so that the recipient can use the ephemera as they wish um, so this is be great for the little pieces of fussy cuts so I shall be including these in my next journal 
that's on there. So let's just find something to stick on that flap. I don't I know it's ripped, but it doesn't really matter. I can put a piece of tape to hide the rip in the stamp. It's just a piece of that along there. So what do you think? Yeah, that's stuck down with the... Do we need something on here? I'll just use some of this up. Just little pieces. Talking about going to the UK, I'm really not looking forward to flying. The, it seems to be the older I get, the more I just don't want to get in all the queues you have to queue up at the passport control and queue up again to go through to board the plane it's just queuing and queuing but it's got to be done i really want to go and see mum and i'll be staying with my oldest friend trudy right i think that's enough there's not much left on there, so I think we'll bin that piece. So, tell me what you think of this. Let's just get them out of the way. There's loads here already done. They're the ones I made last night. Different colourway there. That's two-sided paper, so you really didn't need to put anything on the inside flap flaps. I need to put fasteners on some of them. So, they look good, don't they? I've used nearly a full pad of paper. Uh, I was gifted this one, and it's uh, Life's Journey from, I don't know who, but it's only a few pieces left now. So I shall finish that off and make another couple of envelopes. So thanks for joining me today and don't forget to go and have a visit with um, Seven Plaza. I shall link her video below with this style, just using strips of paper and you fold them in. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.